Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So super early in the morning, but I decided to film this video because I want to get it out for you guys. I get way, way, way too many questions um, through DMs and YouTube comments and stuff asking um, about die-off reactions, whether you're cleansing because you have psoriasis, whether you're doing a candida cleanse, um, heavy metal cleanse, etc. You guys say that um, a lot of times when you're cleansing, you notice that like your symptoms get a lot worse or you'll get brain fog or you'll be super tired. Some people say that they stop the cleanse because they have a full-time job and they can't afford to be that tired. Um, their rash spreads. So I'm just kind of here to tell you today really quick why that's happening, whether or not it should be happening and what to do about it. So um, the first thing is when you are so toxic and you have so many toxins in your body, and you just all of a sudden start to change the way you eat, change the products you put on your skin and start to cleanse those toxins and usually bad bacteria like candida and parasites release viruses and other toxins when they die off. And usually your um, you know elimination pathways will eliminate these toxins like your liver and your kidneys and your lymphatic system. But um, if you have not never done a liver cleanse or anything like that your liver is really backed up and really blocked up and it's almost the case for everyone that if you do not do a liver cleanse before you start any type of detox protocol um, your um, toxins are not going to be able to um, detoxify, detoxify from the body through your liver and they're going to kind of recirculate the body and go to your brain and cause like brain fog because um, they're in the bloodstream or you know they'll go to the towards the skin or the mucous membranes and cause like flare up like more rashes um they can cause you know fatigue and all that stuff headaches because you're traveling around your bloodstream and they're not being detoxified because your liver can't handle that toxic load and the same goes for your kidneys um usually if you do a liver cleanse it kind of helps the kidneys too um and your lymphatic system um you really want to be cleansing and supporting your lymphatic system so the first thing that i always say before you do a cleanse is do a liver cleanse that's the first cleanse you should start with before a candida protocol before a psoriasis protocol um etc and then um once your liver is, is in good shape then you can um go on to your cleanse and while you're doing your cleanse you still should support your liver kidneys and lymphatic system to help proper drainage of toxins from the body I'm gonna get, I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about how long should I do a liver cleanse? That's the most common question. Um, I made a video all about liver cleansing, so I will link it up here, but um, I can't say how long you should do a liver cleanse because it really depends on your toxicity levels. I do recommend starting with a month, um, see how you feel after that. If you feel like it didn't really do much, then maybe try um, doing like two months. After the two months, you can try your candida cleanse or your mold cleanse or your psoriasis cleanse or whatever. And if you feel like die off is still happening, if you feel like you're going through a healing crisis, as it's called, where your symptoms get worse before it gets better, don't lose hope. Just stop that cleanse and move back onto a liver cleanse until your liver can handle it. The thing is, is that your liver is your biggest detox organ in the body. And if you're eating a lot of bad foods, um, that's going to create toxicity. But if you also um, drank a lot of alcohol at one point, that's further going to, that's going to create further toxicity. If you also smoked, sorry, there's so many trains in the morning. Um, if you also smoked during you know a certain part of your life, that's more toxicity. Um, if you're super stressed, that's even more toxicity. So it really depends. And even like the time that you were living a very unhealthy life matters too. So it really depends from person to person. I actually had to do a liver cleanse for one entire year um, in order to stop seeing like those healing crisis happen with, with my psoriasis or my candida. Um, so what I did was I didn't wait a year to do the candida cleanse. I did a liver cleanse for two months. Then I moved on to the candida cleanse, but I was still liver cleansing during the candida cleansing phase. And I was still supporting all my elimination pathways, like the um, mucous membranes, my liver, my kidneys, um, you know, lymphatic system. That way, as the toxins are, are you know, coming into the body and, and kind of going to try to be excreted, my um, elimination pathways can handle that toxic load. So check out my video on how to do a liver cleanse if you're interested, but there are, you know, a bunch of ways to go about it. Um, a common one is actually a three-day water fast followed by um, a couple weeks of a really good diet that has liver cleansing supporting foods. Um, obviously, the water fast is not good for everyone. Um, it really depends on a lot of factors whether or not you should do it. Um, but usually it comes down to like how, you know, can you handle it? 
Um, you don't want to just, if you're really weak already or really tired, you don't want to throw your body into something extreme. So with that, there is another way you can go with juice fasting that has a lot of um, specific vegetables and fruits that will help cleanse your liver. Um, then another way is with just diet alone, specific foods like grapefruit and dandelion um, and beets are really good for cleansing the liver. So you would add those in and just have like a really liver supporting diet for a couple months. Another way is with herbal supplementation. You can also do homeopathic supplementation. Um, so there's a few ways to go about it. My video will hopefully explain a little bit, but if you do have more questions, you can literally just Google liver cleanses um, and just see what kind of works for you. Or of course you can see a naturopath um, and they can help you with like, you know, any type of liver cleanse you want. I also am a registered holistic nutritionist. So if you do want help with diet and supplementation for the liver specifically, I am more than happy to create a protocol for you. Um, my email is in the description box below if you'd like to contact me for that. But yeah, once you cleanse your liver, then you should notice that your candida and stuff, when they die off, you're not really getting that crazy reaction. So I really hope this video helped. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.